Who doesn't love a ratty little hatch? Cars nowadays come with so many uh, gimmicks, you can say, like traction control, stability control, dual clutch systems, ESP, blah blah blah. You don't really need that, and when it all comes into place, you feel really disconnected as a driver from the mechanical components of the car. So, what you really need to do is get a simple car that's back to basics with a simple engine, simple manual gearbox, and a simple steering rack. This Renault Quid is the perfect car for the urban jungle. 800 cc doesn't sound like much 67 horsepower doesn't sound like much but this car is 775 kilos and when it all comes into place it's quite a hoo move out of the way this is a real ratty little hatch, the Suzuki Alto. It weighs 60 kilograms less than that Renault Quid and it's better than the Quid in almost every single way. Nice. I mean, it cocks the wheel while going around corners and everything like that. What What does this do? This croissant, this spaghetti, what does it do? This is Japanese perfection, JDM stuff. This is just a French hatchback that doesn't work. Have you mentioned your power figures yet? Uh, no. Why are you planning? Why haven't you told because our I viewers? Because I don't want to mention it. What, so. what, what happened? Why? <laughs> like, how much does it make? Let, tell me. 47. Huh? 47. 47 bhp i've driven one cylinder bikes that have more power than that, that what are you going matter. to do with this little plow some rice or what <laughs> it doesn't matter this weighs 50 kilograms less than that which means i have a well i don't technically have better power to weight but it's like i weigh 10 kilograms less than you what are what what are you trying to prove it also depends on the driver who's driving and their breakfast yeah. We should do one thing, we should do a test, okay? Let's make a little mini course around and see who's got the biggest cojones. So, we did. And we found this piece of barren land somewhere near the outskirts of Pune. And since there was literally nobody around, we changed it into a little private racetrack. The track was littered with sharp 90 degree turns and long straightaways. Some of which were like, lots of rocks corner. The no speed bump, speed bump sign straight. Watch out for the pole, don't hit any crew member straight, the straight, and again back to the finish line. And after our track marshals had cleared the area, Bhavneet set off for his hot lap. Okay, we are already in the second corner, good finish, down to second, gunning it, gunning it on to third, back down to second, hard on the brakes, oh, on the steer, okay, into the straight, straight, we're in, we're gonna push it, back to second, don't hit the rocks, pushing, pushing, Going to the downhill street, gunning it, gunning it. Back on second to the hard on brakes. Oh, lift off the all We are going for it and finish. Fifty six point three eight. That's what I have to be. Uh, sit rep, we have not crossed 39 kilometers an hour. After I had finished my lap, Soham lined up on the start line in the rice plow. Okay, so many rocks corner, 
gear and here second gear 30 second gear still in 30 now the speed bump but there's no speed bump straight in third little dab of brakes turn in oh lots of body roll and now don't hit any crew members straight almost went wide going down going down into third again so many rocks corner and dab of brakes yes little dab of brakes again Dab of brakes, dab of brakes, turn in, turn in, turn in. Oh, all oh. ah. Did you see that perfection? Max was tapping Romain Grosjean. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. So the times are in. I did uh, 56.38 You yes. timed it yes. You timed it for me Yes uh, Okay, so there's no nice way of saying this You, you slow, fat, Japanese rice flour You did 59.95, you idiot <laughs> So now I, that means, that means Your slower car That is still lighter And you are a worse driver so I have what weight. have we? What I have, have weight in my car. What have See we gained? Dirt. See this dirt. I have weight in my car. Please come take check this. Check this. Ballast, bro. Check that ballast. Can you? Can you? The camera cannot catch the dirt. Oh yeah, it can. Yeah, that's the weight. Yeah, three seconds worth of weight. Yes. Since we both were so confident about our cars, we decided to switch seats and take them out for a drive. To be honest, this Quaid is a nice little car, like interior wise it's really nice, you have this nice infotainment system here, you have this digital gauge cluster, um, the steering wheel has a nice shape, uh, AC works really well, only one un really weird thing I find is that the window switches are here, so it's really like hard to find them sometimes, uh, but in terms of you know like the fun factor, I feel that the Alto is a little bit better because it's just a little bit more ratty and you don't give a shit about it because it's a Suzuki whereas this but I mean I have to say like it's really refreshing to drive a car like this because first of all it has a good interior which I really like I actually really like this interior and if you go for the higher end models you get some good gubbins inside like Apple CarPlay um, airbags for the driver and all of that so it's really good in terms of that the gearbox is much nicer. I can't tell that to Soham. The clutch is much nicer. The accelerator is so much nicer. It doesn't body roll. When you get into the corner, it actually sticks, none unlike the quid. This car is better, but it just has less power. But it's better. How do I tell Soham? I don't know how to tell Soham. This is dog shit. This is also dog shit. It's like a croissant gone bad. Like what? What were they thinking when they made this? At least it's nice on the inside. The interior in this looks like it's a Turkish jail. They sold 1500 of these even in COVID-19 in India. May 2020, they sold 1500 of these. It's the eighth best selling car in India. It's reliable. It's Back to basics, you have nothing like the stupid Apple CarPlay and all of that jazz inside. You don't have any of that, it's simple. Okay, to be fairly honest, uh, after you buy this car, reliability is an issue. Yes, after sales for Renault has been a problem. Yes. You had a Renault quid, you had yes. a quid climb a one later. Yes. Tell us your experience, what happened to it? The gearbox blew up. Yes, this hasn't blew up. So. Uh, we had gone for a shoot and this was our film car. This is my mom's car. Um, it was. It didn't have coolant and still ran. So that's how good the engine in this is. It's a Suzuki, Japanese, much better. When we went filming and I had my quid still, uh, what was our convoy? A Polo GT TSI, an Audi Q3 yes, and the quid climber, yes, which kept up. That's true. I agree. This is fast. 
This wouldn't have done that. Yeah, forty-seven, sixty-seven bhp. So, what are we concluding this with? That if you want to overtake autos on the highway by this, but if you want something which is reliable, you don't have to give a shit about by this. I I I have to agree. Thank you so much for watching this video. We've been trying to implement some new film and cinema styles and this is the new style that we're trying to experiment with. Let us know if you like this type of video that we're trying to make. Uh if you don't also let us know in the comments down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel for more content. The next video is going to be really special. So subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you for watching.